Speaking of AI. Oh, my God, Will. Holy. After this whole show, after everything we've been through. <laughs> a buddy of mine sent it over. Ooh. I figured we should talk about it. Oh, boy. All right. Read the headline then. Oh, okay. Man ends his life after an AI chatbot encouraged him to sacrifice himself to stop climate change. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hang on a second. This was posted when? April what? I'm, I'm sorry that I have to keep doing this, but, like, you picked a lot of outlandish headlines March here. March 31st. It's real, dude. I looked it up. You looked it up. Yeah. To what extent? I did some research. Uh, to what I asked GPT. You, to what extent you looked it up. A Belgian man reportedly ended his own life following a six-week-long conversation about the climate crisis with an artificial intelligence chatbot. According to his widow, who chose to remain anonymous, Pierre, not the man's real name, became extremely eco-anxious. He found refuge in Eliza, an AI chatbot on an app called Chai. Eliza consequently encouraged him to put an end to his life after he proposed sacrificing himself for the planet. Without these conversations with the chatbot, my husband would still be here, the man's widow told Belgian News. Pierre, who was in his 30s and a father of two, oh, stop it. That's how they get you, right? Worked as a health researcher and led a somewhat comfortable life until his obsession with climate took a dark turn. Oh, I don't, uh, I mean, what can you really, yeah, I guess, I guess if people are, if these are, if this is people's feedback and this is their interaction in the future, you're going to have to really wonder because it is one of those weird dilemmas. It's like, oh, the Tesla is driving autonomously. It can either choose to slam you into a wall or run over the dog. Mm -hmm. And it's like, neither is perfect which is the more moral of the two which is the least amount of damage mm -hmm. like okay in that circumstance what does it do should it slam you into the wall or kill the dog will mm -hmm. answer it that's like the i robot go ahead will answer it i don't know i don't know you don't know wait say that again the car slams you into a wall, certainly killing you, or it plows over the dog, killing the dog and saving you. Oh, man. The dog being Otis? Oh, it got dark. <laughs> Jeez, man. It's a, well, it's a, yeah, it's a hypothetical. I would, I would like to survive. No, no, but, but I'm saying what should the car do if you're, if you're the programmer of such things? Mm. The, the car obviously can't slam you into the wall. It has to make that call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's based on percentages. But in this case, with, like, the chatbot, it's only getting inputs. So there isn't, like, a safeguard where it can just stop. It will just keep on answering. So, yeah, it, it just kind of, like, brings it down to, like, an even darker hole. It's an interesting one. The car should the car always protect the passenger? It's really interesting. Life for a life. What if the dilemma was the driver dies, but three people are saved on the outside of the car, or six, or twelve, or whatever? However, we uh, but they're not the owner of the car. They're not the master of the car. Ooh, AI questions. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, this AI. I guess you're saying this is a real story that presents this situation, this dilemma of the human being a burden to the planet and therefore um, uh, convincing this outcome. I presume there's going to be some sort of court case now. And then there's others saying you can't blame AI for this. This is not what it was designed for. And you've got the co-founder of the company telling Vice that efforts were made to limit these kinds of results and a crisis intervention feature was implemented into the app. Oh, eh. Yeah, terrible. I don't know. It, it, this is exactly what people are afraid of, is that. Mm -hmm. But could, you know, other people are also dangerous. Other people you're chatting with can ruin your lives. It's just when new technology emerges, we we have our questions and we focus on it and... 
and we right. tend to dig deep. Rightfully so. Yeah. Rightfully so. We start to push at the extremities, figure out where those seams burst, yeah. and they will burst. Mm-hmm. 